busy this morning. I've got a new load on my trailer. I'm bringing this load down to Calgary. From Calgary, I'm putting this load there, grabbing onto a van trailer. And that van trailer, I've got to go get loaded really quickly yet today. So we're getting towards the end of the afternoon already. We load that in Calgary, and I have two drops in that van load in Kamloops, BC, and Williams Lake, BC. So we are going to British Columbia. We're going to go see the mountains again. Pulling a box this time. Or as I like to call it, with my mid-roof truck, a parachute. It's going to be fun though. It's going to be fun. We're sticking around the Alberta area because next weekend we have the Big Rig Expo in Calgary. I got to be here for that. So we're going to bring that freight into BC, come back to Calgary, and we'll be back in time for Saturday. So we've gotten quite a bit done today already. Still a lot to do and a little bit of time to do it in. Not, we're, we're in a rush. I'm always in a rush, but today I'm in a legit rush. We're in Calgary now, just trying to navigate through Calgary traffic. We're on Deerfoot Trail facing southbound. I'm about to exit at 248 on the Glenmore Trail. Over 800 meters, keep to the right on. Exit 248, Glenmore Trail East, Glenmore Trail West then, keep to the left 500 meters. Something different. You ready for it? We got our box. Now, unfortunately, with all the construction and traffic on the way down here to Calgary from Edmonton and getting loaded this morning, we were delayed there by over an hour. All the delays today pushed this load to tomorrow morning. So I couldn't get loaded this afternoon. Gotta get loaded tomorrow morning. So we're going to leave from here first thing. They said they'll have me loaded at about 8 a.m. And then we're going to rush over to Kamloops. Uh, it's about seven to eight hours from here to get to Kamloops. So I'll probably, I'll, I'll see how late they're open and might get Kamloops delivered. But then I have to go to Williams Lake, British Columbia as well for my second drop, which is three hours sort of north of there. So I'll at least get to Kamloops tomorrow and then we'll deliver both those the next day and then rush back here for the Big Rig Expo. It's going to be a little tight now, but. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Do a little bit of van work this week. It was either that or I uh, just sit here in Calgary and wait for the weekend, right? And I didn't want to just sit around and do nothing until then. That's kind of a waste. I need Old Blue to be making money. I need some I need some freight. So uh, they found this for me. It's a van load, but that's okay. I don't mind vans. So what I'm going to do now is they, they're going to let me park right here in the dock overnight. I'm going to disconnect and bobtail down to Flying J, which is just down the road. Grab a shower, fuel my tank so I'm all ready for the morning so that when I get loaded, I can just go. Probably grab some food and stuff too. And then I'm gonna come back here, hook back up to the trailer, and then sleep right here overnight.
So I've grabbed my fuel and I parked myself in a bobtail spot. Before I go and take my shower, I'm gonna go for my walk. Get my three miles in and walk through this, uh, I guess, commercial neighborhood around the Flying J here in Southeast Calgary. And I'll be keep, keeping track of my distance walked with my Google Fit app. Not that I'm doing an ad or anything, I'm just telling you how I do things. I've got my Bose headsets in. Uh, they have an aware mode, so I can listen to my podcast or music and still hear what's going on around me. I really like that when I'm on my walk so I can hear traffic coming up or if people are trying to get my attention or something, I can still hear that. Or I could tap this left side twice and it goes into quiet mode and it completely like disconnects me from the world around me. All I hear is my music or my podcast. I love like, I love doing it like that, but when I'm out on the street, I like to be able to hear traffic around me. So that's a cool feature that they have. All right, let's get out there. Let's do this walk. Let's walk three miles. We're gonna come back here to the truck. I'm gonna get all my stuff together for a shower. We're gonna go in and shower. I filled up for 675 liters today which is 178 US gallons. In Canadian dollars, it costed me $1,050. And I drove 1,667 kilometers, so 1,000 miles on that. So 1,050 miles, one second here. 1,050 kilometers in miles. 652 miles. And, uh, oh, sorry, no, that's not what I was going for. I, I did, what am I thinking? <clears throat> 1,050 CAD to USD. $765. <laughs> 765 US dollars is what it cost me to drive 1,000 miles on this last trip with the loads I was hauling. I was hauling butt really from Edmonton to get down here on time to try to get loaded today yet. So I know that I killed my fuel economy on the way down here. If I would have known that I wasn't gonna make it anyways, I would have taken it a little bit more easy, saved the fuel, but I was really trying to get there and I almost made it. I got there as they were getting into their cars to go home. So if I was just 15 minutes earlier, I could have gotten loaded today. That's how close I was. Not that it'll, prevent me from getting anything done it'll just be pretty tight to get back for the the big rig expo i don't know what to expect at this expo i've seen conflicting uh uh reviews of it online i've never been to it before so uh, i i don't think it's like a truck show it's not a mats type thing i think it's more of like a, a job fair where a lot of different companies come out to show their technologies and trucking and a lot of trucking companies come out to recruit drivers and stuff. I mean, that's what we're doing there, right? We're, we're looking for owner operators uh, to join our Western Canada fleet out here in Alberta and BC in our motorsport division hauling dry van. That's why I have a box behind me today. I'll be able to show you exactly what our motorsport division does tomorrow. I got to set up those ramps in Kamloops and in Williams Lake. So I'll make sure to show you guys what that's all about and even if you didn't make it to the expo if you're out here in western canada and you're looking for uh uh for a change and you want to move your truck on to our uh to our fleet uh you can always send me an email or just go to the keystone website altogether or just bypass me maybe if you don't mind mention me when you're filling out your application i do get a ref reference bonus if you do that i really appreciate that you don't have to but if you do it you get 10 extra points from me that you can use for whatever you want. I don't know what they're good for, but we'll figure it out as we go. <laughs> let's get out there, let's get this walk done. The longer I sit here, the more I procrastinate, the more I procrastinate, the less I wanna go. So we're gonna get this done. Pretty quiet neighborhood. Everyone's just going home after work. You know, these Bose headphones, whatever, the earbuds, whatever they call them, they're amazing. Uh, Britt and I bought them for each other a couple of years ago. Great sound. But you can't get them to stay in your ears. I have, I've tried all the different sizes to fit in my ear. Cannot get them to fit in my ear. I jogged for the quarter mile, like I usually do. They kept falling out of my ears. So I don't know why they don't make them with like a loop that goes around your ear like they used to, but... Right? Oh well, as long as I'm walking, 
they stay pretty comfortable and stay in there. I just have to readjust them every 10 minutes or so. Yeah, I've tried, like I said, I've tried all the different sizes for the, the ear fitting. Hasn't helped. These ones I just tried this trip. I'm trying them for the first time now. They're the biggest ones. They've worked the best so far. All the other ones, they would just fall out right away. Oh well. I have walked a total of about two miles. So I've got one mile left. Oh, oh, buddy, you didn't look. You didn't look. I was already in the driveway. Not even I'm, not even a little wave. All right. Good thing I wasn't going like NASCAR speeds in the truck stop. You never know, right? You gotta be ready for anything. So anyways, I went for my walk here. I had a shower and then I went Turn and ate left. in Denny's. Had a good meal. And now I'm headed back to my trailer. I'm gonna hook back onto it and sleep right in the dock there so that when they're done in the morning, I can just start her up. Well, do my pre trip, start her up and go. You know what I mean when I say start her up and go, right? And we're back at the door. So. They told me 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. It'll probably be earlier than that, I'm thinking. I'll probably get here around 7, get me loaded. Probably out of here by 8, that's what I'm thinking, so. Doesn't seem like it's too late yet, but as you know, it's pretty late already. I think it's about 10 at night. So it's time to go to bed. Thanks for hanging out today, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Stay safe out there and drive safe. We all want to get home to our families. Tomorrow we'll be driving into the mountains. There'll be uh, some scenery in the vlogs.